James LeBray from Dream Theater, and you're watching BraveWords.com. Thank you. Yeah! I want to thank James for um, taking time out of his very busy schedule, basically because he's just had a brand new record and this DVD is coming out in a, in a couple of weeks. So, cheers for joining us. Thank you, Tim. Thanks. Now, congratulations is definitely in order because of this brand new Dream Theater album that came out, what, a week and a half ago. We're in top five in Canada. This is unheard of. had like top five or top ten entries in a number of countries like this is a worldwide phenomena for prog metal so congratulations to you in the band. Thanks. I, I mean uh, I guess we're just as surprised because we've been doing this over 20, 20 almost 25 years and uh, when we keep putting out the albums and we get this kind of a reaction it's we're dumbfounded but it just I guess it goes to prove that there is the audience out there. Am I still on there? Yeah. yeah. It's like I'm talking to my monitor engineer. Am I on? But um, yeah, there's the audience out there that is looking for this this kind of music, and this is a true testament that each album comes out. It seems that we're gaining even more ground. So thanks to everyone in this room and everyone around the world. It's very cool. You can't even dream of that, right? You can't even dream theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you my kids are going, oh, jeez, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> when you woke up and heard the number five record in Canada, like, that must be done. I mean, we, that's what we did. We woke up and we started to email and the management was getting back to us. But, you know, we, uh, even if we got in the, the top 20, we'd be happy. But, Recently, with the last few albums, we've been in the top ten, and it's uh, it's just incredible. Uh, so I don't know what to say. I mean, uh, we're we're very fortunate. We know that, and uh, we work hard. But there are a lot of bands out there that deserve a lot of success, and they're uh, you know they unfortunately don't see that. Uh, but uh, we can thank the Britneys out there for that. But yeah, no, we're we're very very uh, pleased. And, and uh, grateful. So let's talk about this spectacle we're about to uh, witness. Tell us about how it came together, what the feeling was on stage, why South America. It's, um, you always hear about the fans, maidens down there, a number of bands just think that that's the place to be. Well, we've been talking about doing a DVD down in South America for, for quite some time, and it just so happened that the schedule allowed for it, and um, you know, actually, before we even confirmed with uh, Buenos Aires um, or Chile, and I remember there were a lot of fans in uh, Santiago. Yeah, I see you two guys up there. I know. Yeah. And uh, it, so what started happening is everybody was hoping that their city would be the one that would get it. But we just knew, you know, we could have done it anywhere in South America. It's just unbelievable when we go down there. Uh, the fans, the crowds, the enthusiasm, they're unbelievably animated. Uh, they're putting out more energy, I think, than the band some nights, but, uh, you know, it just came to that we thought uh, that would be a perfect venue. We played Luna Park before, we loved the room, we loved the acoustics, we, we thought that it had the perfect kind of setting for shooting uh, a DVD, because you're, we went in there with, uh, I think it was 17 cameras, and you'll see that throughout the, the movie that, you know, they, they have the, uh, the aerial views going around and it's just, you know, they're flashing and editing from camera to camera. And, uh, but that's how it came down to it. One of the places I actually wanted to play, and it almost happened, was Montreal. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, maybe next time we'll, we'll do the DVD in Canada. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. Well, speaking of Canada, you've already rolled out some dates in early 2014, right? In in Europe. I'm not even aware of that, Tim. Okay. No. 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 I, so know, I know. No. We. The first question is when are you going to be coming back home to perform? Uh, not until the spring, 
But we start in, uh, in Portugal uh, January 15th, which I'm sure you're all aware of. Uh, and then we're, we're over there until the end of February, and then we're coming home. I, I would imagine probably the beginning of April that we'll start in North America. We've had a contest at Bravers.com to ask James a question. So I'm here to pass the mic to those that would like to ask the singer from Dream Theater. A few people were shy when they walked in, so don't be shy. This guy's um, someone you want to hang out at a pub with, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> any interest in asking? You, know, you won't question? get home. <laughs> let me let me come up and pass the mic. Twelve fantastic albums. I think that the new DT album is right up there. Um, Thank you. It's awesome. Yeah. You guys did a bang up job with it, and many more. I hope. Um, I've got a question in terms of set lists. Uh, I know that now you've got 12 albums to choose from, and I know that there's a certain thought process that goes behind when you put together set lists for tours. Um, what's the mindset that you're going to use, let's say, on this next tour? I mean, obviously you're trying to include each and every album. You have to. And you're hoping that the songs that you're picking um, are what the fans are going to be wanting to hear. I mean, it's really difficult, but uh, you know, some of the guidelines are what did we play on the last tour? And what haven't we played in the last five years or so? Let's bring them back. And I think it, uh, so we're, we're doing some of that. We're bringing back songs that we haven't done, uh, that hasn't been in our repertoire for quite some time. So I think that in itself is exciting. Also, you know, I mean, we have, uh, anniversaries coming up. So without saying what we're playing, uh, there's a wake and then there's scenes that have anniversaries. So we're going to try and touch on some of those aspects as well. But it's already together. It's going to be great. I think we're really excited about doing the evening with because we haven't done that for quite some time as well. So this really allows us, it's our night, it's our night with our fans. We can just go out and have a blast. Just one more quick one because we're kind of short on time sure. and uh, we need to end the movie at a particular time. Last time when we talked, um, you were just starting to work on records. You were just getting into them. Yeah. How has your experience been with Roadrunner now? And have they included you and they've, they've really supported you in theater? Absolutely. They've been fabulous. I mean, uh, we knew that before going in to the label Roadrunner just because they've been a, a, a label that really gets behind music that they believe in. It's not just a product, it's not a profit margin, it's, you know what, we believe in you guys, we, we appreciate your music, and with us, they, they have many albums to, to pick from as to uh, what kind of a band we are and what we're trying to do. So they, they're, they're the perfect you know, vehicle for a band, especially like ourselves. They've been incredible. There we go. Thank you so much to James. Thank Lurie. you.